how to do URL redirects in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to perform a URL redirect and create them into your Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you need to assign it into your account. After you have did that, you're going to see right there the website that you have created. If you didn't create a website, you need simply to click on create a new site right there and you will get a window to take you to choose about right here Wix Studio or the normal Wix editor. Then you are going to get the help of the AI to create your website. If you don't want to, the help of the AI, you are going to proceed to the themes and the template. Now, let's go ahead and choose a website that I have created. Then we are going to start the work on it. So we are going to click on the first website right here, which is from a Wix normal and not Wix Studio. Right here, we have the website. I'm going to load right there the website. So we're going to let you see here how the things are going to run. So for the URL redirect is used or a feature which is used to uh, put, for example, an old URL to trash and redirect the visitors to that specific old URL to something else. Let's say that uh, I'm going to give you an example. So for the shop, let's say that we are going to uh, create a shop. So for that specific shop, I'm going to click on preview. I will let you see here at the shop itself. Click on shop, for example. Then we are going to see the shop like that. This is the normal shop that I have or the old shop. So right here, as you can see, we have a lot of elements and we have a lot of things. Let's say that I don't like the specific right here template or the design of this specific one. So I'm going maybe to get a page of a Shopify, for example, or a store of Shopify instead of this specific shop. So all I need to do is to replace the URL from here, which is this is going to be called the old URL to a new URL, for example, of Shopify. So I will let you see here the Shopify store that I have. So right here, I'm going to wait for the Shopify to be right there. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, uh, accounts are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So let's go ahead and put right here the link of our products. This is the all collection of our Shopify. So we are going right there to the Wix again. This is the dashboard. Then we are going right here. We have two, uh, two ways. We are going to set it right here from search, or you can go ahead and see the SEO settings. For example, right there, sites and mobile, website and SEO. We are going to click on website and SEO. Then we are going to search for redirect URL. So uh, we are going to see here what do we have on SEO, maybe. Site inspection, here it is. This is the URL redirect manager. Or you can go ahead and type for the search bar redirect. For example, like that. And it will show you here the URL redirect manager. So right here, as you can see, we have the URL. We are going to uh, the manager right there. Then as you can see, nothing is uh, created or selected. So. You can go ahead and click on more action and import the redirects from a sheet on Google Sheets or Excel. Or you can go ahead and click on new redirect. Here we have two options. We have the single redirect and we have the group redirect. For the group, it will be redirecting the traffic for a group of URLs that shares the same path. For example, you are going right here to do something like you can read right here all forums post in a category and share to a all shared path so for example in our website let's say that we have for example 
a block. So this block, let's pretend that this is a block. This blocks contain a posts or a lot of posts and each post or from here has the link that is derived from the specific um, post. For example, I'm going to delete that. Also that. Let's say that we have the blog or the original blog from here, blog. Then let's say that this t-shirt is the, um, uh, let's say is the sub blog or the topic of the blog from here. So it will be getting right here, a code, for example, uh, blog one or article or topic one and etc. This is, for example, this uh, orange bottle is a topic two and etc here we have for example chair which is a topic three let's say that and the glasses are here the topic four so these are the sub right here a uh, url or you can say that uh, this is a subcategory you can go ahead and set here we have forum for example slash questions you're going to type for example here blog uh, slash you're going to set for example topic and let the topic right here uh, empty so it will automatically detect the number or the uh, the uh, right here the typical uh, url that will be uh, going after topic for example one two three four and uh, to the infinity of the number of topic that you have to a new url path so for example, I want to get it to my Shopify store. So I will go ahead right there and we are going to set, for example, like that. So the preview is here. We have blog topic slash rest of the URL. So it doesn't matter of the topic, but it will be like this. So it doesn't matter and it will take you to this specific area so right here we are going to switch to the single redirect here it will redirect the traffic from an old url to a new url for example here we have an old url for let's say that we have the contact one now we have the contact i'm going to take it to a new url which is not the contact but let's say that I want to take it to something like right here, subscribe, my orders, my account. Let's say that we are going to take it to about us. So the information of the contact or the contact form, I'm going to put it into about us. Then we are going to click on save. After you click on save, here your 100 or 301 redirects won't work until you connect a custom domain. It doesn't matter right there because here you need a domain and this is our demonstration. So we are not going to do a lot of things. So this is the demonstration, the old URL right here, the new URL right there. You can go ahead and view the redirect. Then you're going to, uh, if you want to delete it, delete it and etc. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.